So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the potentiometer in the V5. The one that I'm using is the version 2. The version 1 works the same. This one's just a little bit nicer, nicer built. So you can see that I have it attached here. It's, again, a three-wire device. So I'm going to plug it into my port A, making sure, again, it's pushed in all the way. Uh, what I like to do is I like to take a gear with an axle, and I like to sit it in there so I have something to eat readily turn. Uh, I'm going to come up here to add my device. And again, this is the same setup I've been using in all my other videos. So I'm going to come over here to three wire. I can see that potentiometer version two. I'm going to select on that. I have it wired in port A. Now with the new motors uh, being servo and measuring rotations and all that, there might not be such a need for the potentiometer. So now that I have my potentiometer set up, uh, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to use some if logic to help display how we can use this. So we're going to come over here and I'm going to grab an if statement and another if statement. And basically what I'm going to do, if you look at the potentiometer sensing, and what's really nice on this new potentiometer, they do uh, angle in percent uh, for this or they do degrees. And I found the angle in percent works a lot nicer with this setup. So the program is going to be really simple. I'm going to start my motor and I'm going to stop my motor. Now I'm going to come and grab my logic. If my potentiometer is greater or less than here, so I'm going to say if it's greater than 51 or less than 50, meaning the potentiometer angle. So if it's greater than uh, 51, it's going to spin that motor forward. If it's less than 50, it's going to stop that motor. Now, the really nice thing about these new Cortexes is I can come back here. I can come to my devices in my menu, go to my three wire, and I can see that potentiometer here. And it's reading right now I'm at 72%. And I'm going to start my program with it less than... 40%. So you can see that right here. So now I'm going to download that program. I'm going to run it. I can hit this back button. Again, click on my devices and I can go to that three wire and I can see what my potentiometer reads. So as I increase my value, it's above my 50%. So we can see that it's spinning forward. As I rotate it back, it's going to stop. I'm going to spin forward, and as I rotate back, it's going to...